Welcome back to a brand new video. First, I wanna say thank you to everybody for your continued support. We are only five subscribers away from 500 subscribers. And once we reach that goal, we'll be opening up one of these base set two booster packs and I can't wait to do that. So make sure you subscribe to support the channel and like this video if you enjoy all things Pokemon. So today, we're gonna to be talking about Pokemon's newest TCG set, Lost Origin, set to be released September 9th. Today, they announced so many cool products and we're gonna talk about them today in this video. So Lost Origin will be a combination of Dark Phantasma, which is the Japanese set that came out in May, and Lost Abyss, which has yet to come out. Both of those sets will culminate into Lost Origin, the US release, and this could be the final Sword and Shield release because in November we have Pokemon Violet and Pokemon Scarlet, and with that will come a brand new set of Pokemon cards. But Lost Origin looks really cool, and there's so many awesome products in this set. This set will be 190 cards. We'll see three new Radiant Pokemon cards, six new V-Star cards, 14 V cards, one new V-Max Pokemon card, and again, 30 new Trainer Gallery cards and 15 Full Art Trainer cards. So a lot of awesome cards coming our way this September. Um, they did reveal some of the cards. So first off, we have an Aerodactyl V-Star, a Magnazone V-Star, a Gudra V-Star, a Drapion V-Star, and, and my favorite one here, the Hisuian Zoroark V-Star, which has already been released earlier this year. This card looks absolutely beautiful and is definitely one that I want to add to my collection. We also have a Kiram VMAX, which they have yet to even show what that looks like. And they did reveal one of the Radiant Pokemon cards in the Radiant Gardevoir, which came out. And you can see the card right here. It looks absolutely beautiful. Definitely a card that I want to add to my collection. So Lost Origin is going to be absolutely awesome. Next, we have to talk about the booster pack art because they just keep knocking it out of the park with this pack art. And it looks amazing. First off, we have the Enamorous pack art here for Lost Origin, which looks really, really cool. We also have the Hisuian Zoroark, which looks absolutely awesome. Another one of my favorite ones. And then we have the shiny Radiant Gardevoir pack art here, which again, looks really, really cool. And the best one, in my opinion, the Giratina pack art. They have yet to show any of the cards for Giratina. I assume they're probably gonna be like an alternate art or a V-Star or um, something like that, but they have yet to show any of the cards. I'm sure it's gonna look awesome. And this pack art looks really, really cool. And now we're gonna talk about all of the Lost Origin products they revealed today on Twitter. First off, we have the Pokemon Center exclusive Elite Trainer Box, which in my opinion has become the favorite of a lot of people, just because it's exclusive to the Pokemon Center. And this booster, and this booster box, this Elite Trainer Box, looks absolutely beautiful but i will say the regular elite trainer box looks better in my opinion this go around i know the pokemon center one comes with the extra booster packs it comes with a giratina pin but the regular elite trainer box looks really really nice with the black there and in my opinion it looks better than the pokemon center exclusive one and new this go around, we have a booster bundle here, which kind of looks like a build and battle box, um, but it, it's just a box that comes with six booster packs. And it's a new product, they haven't done this before, but it, this is called a booster bundle Lost Origin box. And look cool, comes with six booster packs. I'm sure I'll be picking one of these up as well. And then they showed, of course, the booster box, which looks really cool with the Hisuian Zoroark up there on the, at the top. And of course, I will probably try to grab a booster box. I mean, this set isn't like amazing in my opinion, but there's still a lot of cards that have been shown and I really like Giratina. So I will probably end up getting a booster box as well. They also revealed an Infernape V box here, which looks really, really cool with a promo card. But as you can see, there's a Fusion Strike pack in there. How in the world are they still putting Fusion Strike in the newest boxes. You have two Lost Origin booster packs and it looks like a Astral Radiance booster pack. How do you not put a Brilliant Stars pack in there? I don't understand. 
why you have to put fusion stripes, but still this box looks really cool and I love Infernape, so I will definitely be grabbing one of these. And then the last few items here, we have three pack blisters, which come with promo cards like this Reggie Gigas three pack blister. It looks pretty cool, not my favorite Pokemon, but another Black Star promo that I definitely have to add to my collection. And then we have a Weavile three pack blister, which again, not my favorite Pokemon, but surprising, it's not an Eeveelution or something like that, but still a cool three pack blister, which I will definitely be grabbing uh, once it's released in September. And then we have the final product here, the check lane blister packs. Uh, we have the Krogunk check lane blister pack here that comes with a Krogunk promo card, Black Star promo. Looks pretty cool, pretty decent, not my favorite one. And then we have probably my favorite promo card out of all these cards. The Score Bunny check lane single pack blister here, which has the Growlithe and the Dedenne on the sides running alongside the Score Bunny. I just think this card looks really, really cool. And this is definitely one that I want to add to my collection. And we also have the Build and Battle Box, which this is pretty much, it comes out with every set for the people that actually play the TCG, which I don't, I just, I'm just a collector, but still really cool. And that is another one that is also coming out for Lost Origin. So I am super excited for this set. Definitely let me know down below if you are as well. Pokemon Go is coming out in a couple weeks already. Astral Radiance came out a couple weeks ago. So there's so much Pokemon stuff being released and it's awesome. I'm super happy about it, but I do like that Pokemon Go comes out in July. And then we have kind of like a break because there's like two months of just Pokemon Go and Astral Radiance and then Lost Origin will be released. Will this be the last Sword and Shield set? Well, I guess we'll just have to wait and see. Either way, I'm excited. And definitely let me know down below which products you will be picking up. And with that, I want to thank you all for watching this video. Please check me out on Instagram and Twitter. Again, we're so close to 500 subscribers and I can't wait to hit that milestone because we will be opening up a base set two booster pack. So make sure you subscribe if you haven't. Like this video if you enjoyed it and I will see you all in the next one.